I couldn't find a video on how to drill out these Welsh plugs in the Yamaha V-Star 650 Classic Carburetor. And I've got a Vance and Hines kit to install. So I wanted to drill those out. It came with a drill bit to 5 30 seconds. And I put tape around the end of it because right under these Welsh plugs is the air and fuel mixture screw. And I don't want to drill into that screw. So these look like brass Welsh plugs. And I couldn't figure out how to get them out. So apparently you have to drill them. So I'm going to try to do that and not screw up the carburetor. They already have a center punch in them, so I'm going to try to use that as my guide. There it's seated. Oh, it's real soft, that brass. It said once, once I punch most of the way through, I can use a screw that they provided to pull the plug the rest of the way out, so trying to go slow. Not getting those filings in the carb. Uh, most of the way through, I'm gonna push a little harder. Coming out pretty soft. Not really centered. Hopefully that doesn't make a difference. Got a little filing in the carb, so I'm gonna have to blow that out. Not really catching much anymore. Kind of wiggling it around, I can feel it catching more when I wiggle it. Hard to concentrate on two things at once. Boy, it's making a lot of shavings. It's not getting very deep. Still got a little ways to go, apparently. All right, 
I'm going to put the camera down so I don't mess this up. Okay, that was way deeper than I expected it to be. And it's about to punch through. So I'm not going to keep going with the drill. And try to push it through with the screw. Just enough to get the screw seated. And then I'll try to pull it out. Because I could feel it was getting ready to go through. Yeah, see that punched it through. I just used this little screw they had in the kit. Little screw, huge wood screw, and it punched a hole in there. So I'm gonna go get a screwdriver and seat that and then try to pull the plug out. It's it's a lot deeper. I mean, that's how much of a tip I put on there with the tape, and it was the right amount, whatever that is, quarter of an inch. It was right, right, the right amount to catch it, uh, where that tape just seated right up against uh, this flange here. So I don't know if you can see how deep that is, but it's a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. So I'll go a little faster on the other one, uh, knowing that the tape will bottom out before I punch through, hopefully. So I finally got that Welsh plug out, and um, it's pretty thick. I uh, ended up using some large uh, pliers to get around this screw, and then kind of had to angle it out. Not sure if that's because the screw didn't go through center or what exactly happened, but now the moment of truth. Empty this out, and what do you know? There's the air and fuel mixture screw, which I'm going to be replacing with some Vance and Hines uh, parts here pretty soon. There's apparently a, a spring under there and a couple of um, rubber gaskets that are probably, I think this bike is 10 years old, but um, these Welsh plugs come from the factory, uh, so I know that this has never been done, and I think I found one of those um, rubber washers down in the carburetor, so I'm guessing when I take those screws out, uh, that's all going to need to be replaced. So, uh, so that's a Welsh plug removal for a Yamaha uh, V Star Classic 650 uh, carburetor. I just thought I'd share. Thanks. So before I put this away, I thought I'd do one more thing, and uh, if you want to know exactly how deep that Welsh plug is because you don't want to screw up your uh, air fuel mixture screw it is right there it is um, just about exactly uh, 4.4 of a centimeter so um, less than half a centimeter so if you want to set your depth on your um, screwdriver bit uh, right about there a little bit more because it's you're gonna you're gonna punch through that just enough to get that screw in and then it pops right out thanks